Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi friends, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Math, Introduction to Fractions. Let's take a look at the terms here. Fractions are part of a whole. A fraction has a numerator and a denominator. The numerator is the top number above the bar. The denominator is the bottom number below the bar. Let's look at our first example here. We have two pieces of a whole. If I shade in just one of those pieces, that's going to mean that I put in the shaded in part up here and then the whole, which is two, down here. That is considered one half. Next up, I have a whole which has three pieces of it. They're equal. If I shade in two of these, I put in the shaded pieces at the top, so that's going to be two as the numerator. The whole is three, so it's going to be three. And what this means, it's two thirds. Next up, I have a box with four equal pieces. If I shade in three of those, again I put the number of shaded at the top, so that's three, the bar, and then I'm going to have the denominator as four because that is the part of the whole. This is going to be three fourths or three quarters. Next up, we have six, two, four, six. If I shade in three of these, I put in the shaded piece here, three, the bar, and then six is the denominator, so I have three sixths. We have how many pieces here? Two, four, six, eight. So it's eight. If I come over here and I'm going to color in five of those, shading it, colored pieces, five, total eight is the denominator, so I'm going to have five eighths. Next up we're going to look up some shapes and go forward from there. Thank you. Alright friends, we're going to get through this real quickly. If I have one piece there, it's going to be one over one, which is one whole. Two pieces, it's two halves, but if I take one away, I only have one half left. Right here, I have three pieces. If I take two away, I have one third left. Four pieces, I have I take three away, I have one fourth. Six pieces, I take them all away except for one, I have one sixth left. Eight pieces, take it all away, I have one eighth left. Next up friends, we're going to have some real world applications for fractions. We look and see what the time is. Let's take a look here. I have a shorthand longhand. What is this? This is Some people say it's 715 or we can say it's a quarter past 7. Let's look at it again here. 7, longhand. Some people can say that's 730 or it's half past 7. Next up, shorthand to the 7, longhand to the 9. At 7 45 or a quarter till 8. We have a dollar here. How many quarters makes a dollar? Well, think about it. We have one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter plus one quarter, so that's four quarters. So four quarters make a dollar. Over here, I have a half dollar. Therefore, how many quarters make up a half dollar? Well, if it's four for a whole, half would be half as many, so all I need are two to make that half dollar. Thanks for your time, friends. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to do is be a person that does math. Until next time.